assemble equipments, stethoscope, and centimeter ruler. Introduce yourself and verify the client's identity using agency protocol. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why it is necessary, and how the client can cooperate. Discuss how the result will be used in planning further care and treatments. Good day, sir. Uh, I'm Ishi, your nurse today, and I'm going to assess your musculoskeletal system. And the purpose po nito is to observe your bones, muscle, and joints. Perform hand hygiene and observe other appropriate infection prevention procedures. Sir, okay naman po ba kayo sa upo niyo po? Comfortable naman po kayo kasi mag-serve na po tayo ng assessment. Thank you po. Inquire if the client has any history of the following. Uh, sir, bago po tayo mag-start, may isang, may ilang katanungan lang po ako sa inyo. Um, may history po ba kayo ng muscle pain? Uh, aggravating and elevating factors po meron po ba? Wala po. Limitations to movement or inability to perform of daily living. Yung nagagawa nyo po, yung hindi nyo na po nagagawa ngayon pero nagagawa nyo po before? Wala naman po. Okay po. Um, sir, previous sports injuries meron po ba kayo? Wala po. Um, loss of functions without pain sir meron po? Wala po. Okay po, thank you po. Nanood ko po lahat yan. Inspect the muscle for size. Compare the muscles on the side of the body, arm, thigh, and calf, to the same muscle on the other side. For any discrepancies, measure the muscles with a tape. Next is Inspect the muscles and tendons for contractures. Next is inspect the muscles for tremors. Normal findings. There is no contracture and tremors. Abnormal findings. There is contractures and tremors. Next is palpate muscles at rest to determine muscle tonicity. Test the muscle strength. Compare the right side with the left side. Client turns the head to one side against the resistance of your hand. Repeat with the other side. Client shrugs the shoulders against the resistance of your hands. Client holds arm up and resists while you try to push it down. Client fully extends each arm and tries to flex it while you attempt to hold arm in extension. Client flexes each arm and then tries to extend it against your attempt to keep arm in flexion. Client spreads the fingers and resists as you attempt to push the fingers together. Client grasp your index and middle fingers while you try to pull the fingers out.
Client is supine, both legs extended. Client raises one leg at a time while you attempt to hold it down. Client is supine, both legs extended. Place your hands on the lateral surges of each knee. Client spreads the legs apart against your resistance. Client is in same position as for hip adduction. Place your hands between the knees. Client brings the legs together against your resistance. Client is supine, both knees bent. Client resists while you attempt to straighten the legs. Client is supine, knee partially extended. Client resists while you attempt to flex the knee. Client resists while you attempt to dorsiflex the foot and again resists while you attempt to flex the foot. Inspect the skeleton for normal structures and deformity. Normal findings, no deformities. Abnormal findings, there is any deformities. Palpate the bones to locate any areas of edema and tenderness. The normal findings... No edema and tenderness. The abnormal findings, there is edema and tenderness. Inspect the joint for swelling. Palpate each joint for tenderness, smoothness, and movement, swelling, repetition, and presence of noodles. Normal findings, no swelling and crepitation. Abnormal findings, there is a swelling and crepitation. Ask the client to move selected body parts. The amount of joint movement can be measured by a goniometer, a device that measures the angle of a joint in degrees. Document the findings in the client record using printed or electronic forms or checklist supplemented by the narrative noted when appropriate.